All right, guys, I uh, hope everyone had a happy holiday, had a good Christmas Eve and good Christmas. Um, I did, um, but let's talk, let's all talk about why we're here in the first place. <laughs> we fucking suck. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. I'm gonna make this video as short as possible. I'm tired of repeating myself, complaining about the same things week in and week out. There's just no need. New year, my new year resolution is to stop complaining on the things that I cannot control. And the things that I cannot control with this football team, it's how it's operated, how it's managed, how the plays are being called on the field, and what quarterback is fucking playing on Sundays. Because Jake Fromm is not the problem. Daniel Jones is not the problem. Mike Glennon is not a problem. There's no fault of their own that they all fucking have one thing in common. They all play for the shitty New York Giants. Two of the quarterbacks, Fromm is awful. Never want to see him again. I know it's not all his fault. The O-line barely gave him any time to throw. Now he knows what Daniel Jones has been talking about probably in his ear the last three weeks as he's been a member of the, the team. Um, Mike Glennon is nothing much better. He's actually worse probably just because he has that hate to face that you just want to knock his fucking front teeth in. However, that's not their fault. That Why would they suck? That's not their fault. They just suck. Mike Jake Fromm was blessed to be on a stacked Georgia team in college. That's why he had success in college. He is not an NFL quarterback, and today's first half have proved it. He is fucking awful. Scratch that idea. Let Glennon play the rest of the way, and let's lose out. With the Jets winning and the Texans beating the Chargers, possibly we're looking at a possible top three or top four pick, especially if the Bears lose today. Um, so let's get into it. The Giants got their asses kicked by the Eagles. No, no, uh, wrong, right wrongs about it. We fucking suck. I knew that we were going to lose, but I was surprised how we came out and played. First half, our offense looked shit and stagnant once again. That's no surprise to me. But as I predicted, the defense came in and they played hot. They played awesome. First half, three points. They played well. Um, now, as hard as they're playing, very hard to play that hard all four quarters, especially when the offense side of the ball is not giving you any leeway or any motivation to want to get the ball back to them because they are putrid, they are a disaster, and this whole team and coaching staff needs to be scrapped. Throw crumbled up in a piece of paper and fucking chuck it in the bin because this team is not going anywhere. And John Maris stated earlier this week, Joe Judge is coming back. Daniel Judge is coming back. They're giving him one more chance. And I cannot do this for another fucking year. I am going to pull my hair out. The remaining pieces of hair that I have left. They cannot do this to me and us fans for another fucking year. John Mara, Joe Judge is not the guy. Fire him. Hire someone else. Do not hire Kevin Abrams as GM. Just get Anyone that has any fucking ties to this organization, just get rid of them. Just get rid of them. This is obviously not working. I'm not going to pinpoint on any other problem, but it's you, John Mara. You are the problem. So take your fucking free medium Pepsi and please kick rocks and sell this fucking team. I know you won't because you're stubborn and a stubborn old fucking man. Oh, so that's it. Jake Fromm clearly is not an NFL quarterback. He should probably go back to the practice squad. Nice guy. Looks like a nice guy. Um, he looks like one of those guys you would want your daughter to date and marry. Looks like he's a very nice gentleman. But he, nice gentlemen do not win Super Bowls besides Eli Manning. This team is just trash. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. This team is trash. We will not win another game this rest of the year. Which, quite frankly, I wouldn't be too upset about. Because it's all about draft capital at this point, And we need to get as many top picks as we can going into this year's draft. Um, yeah, so that's just the way the cookie crumbles. And uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Giants suck. Our team sucks. Our O-line sucks. Matt Perk got hurt. Black God bless him. He probably got hurt for a reason because uh, he doesn't want to play for this shitty team anymore. And I don't blame him because, quite frankly... I don't want to watch this team anymore. And, uh, yeah, they're wasting my time on Sundays. I'd rather be taking a nap because I don't sleep that well. As you notice, I probably have bags under my eyes from uh, not sleeping very often with a uh, a one-year-old baby screaming her head off at night. 
Um, but that's the video for today. I'm I'm done. I'm done arguing each each fucking week about the same shit over and over again. Our defense is good in the first half, and then they give up because the offense sucks. Offense can't move the ball. Freddie Kitchens is no better than Jason Garrett, and quite frankly, I think he possibly could be worse. Um, so Freddie Kitchens is not an offensive coordinator. Jake Fromm is not an NFL quarterback. Mike Glennon continues to stink. And Joe Judge is, uh, has his fucking hands tied behind his back because John Mara is a fucking loser. So uh, good day, guys. Enjoy your new year. I'll be back to preview another fucking game next week that we're probably going to lose again. Cycle continues. Have a good new year, guys. I'm out.